Welcome to the House of Hypertrophy. Are you missing out on more hypertrophy if you're not training muscles based on their fiber type? What does training muscles based on their fiber type even mean? Muscles generally contain slow and fast twitch muscle fibers. Though there are subtypes of fast twitch fibers, and even hybrid fast and slow twitch fibers exist. For this video, we don't need to worry about these. Based on multiple studies, here are the average split of fast and slow twitch muscle fibers various muscles contain. Quite a few muscles contain a fairly even split of fast and slow twitch fibers, but the soleus appears to be overwhelmingly slow twitch, whereas some upper body muscles like the pectoralis major, triceps, and biceps tend to be slightly more fast twitch. Training muscles based on their fiber type suggests that muscles with more slow twitch fibers should be trained with lighter loads and higher reps, while muscles with more fast twitch fibers should be trained with heavier loads with lower reps. Indeed, it's not uncommon for people to speculate that calves are going to be best trained with higher repetitions, whereas muscles like the biceps, triceps, and pectoralis major should be trained with heavier loads. The rationale behind this is since low twitch fibers are generally low force producing but fatigue resistant, higher reps are going to better grow them, whereas since fast twitch fibers are generally high force producing but very fatigable, heavier loads are going to better grow them. But is training muscles based on their fiber types supported by the research? Are you missing out on more hypertrophy if you're not doing this? Let's find out. A 2020 study from New York investigated the soleus as well as the medial and lateral gastrocnemius. Collectively, these make up the calves. We know the soleus is predominantly slow twitch, whereas the medial and lateral gastrocnemius is more so an even split of slow and fast twitch fibers although based on the data mentioned previously, it may also be considered more slow twitch. All 26 untrained men trained a unilateral seated and standing calf raise, twice per week for 10 weeks. With one leg, we'll call this the light load leg, subjects trained both exercises with 4 sets of 20 to 30 repetitions to momentary muscular failure. With their other leg, we'll call this the high load leg, subjects trained both their exercises with 4 sets of 6 to 10 repetitions to momentary muscular failure. Both legs rested 90 seconds between sets. Before and after the study, thickness of the soleus as well as the medial and lateral gastrocnemius was measured. It was found all three muscles grew similarly with the light and high loads. Therefore, these results fail to support training muscles based on their fiber type, since if this worked, we'd expect the soleus particularly, as it's overwhelmingly slow twitch, to grow more with the light loads. But high loads were equally effective as the light loads for developing this muscle. The same applies to the medial and lateral gastrocnemius. Further indirect evidence opposes the validity of training muscles based on their fiber type. Recall the biceps, triceps, and pectoris major tend on average to be slightly more fast twitch than slow twitch, leading some to suggest heavier loads are needed to optimize their hypertrophy. Yet, a range of studies indicates provided you're performing repetitions too or very close to failure, Repetitions in the ballpark of between 6 to 35 similarly grow these muscles. This is in line with the other research, examined previously at the House of Hypertrophy. Finding other muscle groups such as the quads tend to experience similar hypertrophy between 6 to 35 reps, when those reps are performed to or very close to failure. Furthermore, the premise behind training muscles based on their fiber type, that higher reps better grow slow twitch muscle fibers, while heavier loads better grow fast twitch muscle fibers, isn't truly supported by the research either. A meta-analysis by Gurdjieff combined the results of five studies and found that slow twitch fiber growth is comparable between training with heavy and lighter loads, provided reps are performed to or near to failure. Likewise, the analysis found fast twitch fiber growth was comparable between training with heavy and lighter loads, provided reps are performed to or near to failure. These results make a lot of sense due to Henneman's size principle which states muscle fibers are progressively recruited from slow to fast based on the demands placed on the muscle. When we're training with heavy loads, we readily recruit fast twitch fibers on top of the slow twitch fibers. With lighter loads, fast twitch fibers are not needed initially, but when you continue performing reps with the lighter loads and near failure, the recruitment of fast twitch muscle fibers occurs in an attempt to sustain repetition performance. Indeed, we have data showing when performing reps too or very close to failure, Activation of both slow and fast twitch fibers is comparable between lighter and heavier loads. <music> 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 
Training muscles based on their fiber type suggests muscles with more slow twitch fibers should be trained with higher reps, while muscles with more fast twitch fibers should be trained with heavier loads. However, the current research does not support this. It appears that provided you're performing reps too or very close to failure, reps in the ballpark between 6 to 35 produce similar slow and fast twitch fiber hypertrophy. Now, it's important to mention all the data presented in this video are the averages from the studies, and I think it's likely the results that 6 to 35 reps can produce similar hypertrophy extend to many people. Yet there is some new data indicating some people may grow more with a certain rep range versus another. For reasons currently unknown, it might not be related whatsoever to fiber types. This itself deserves its own video as the data is very fascinating. But just know if you're having great success with a certain rep range over another, that's perfectly fine. I'd actually be really interested to hear if anyone watching this has found this to be the case. It'd be awesome if you let me know in the comment section.